Hi, I'm Zach Caligari, freelance graphic designer in New York City, and today we are talking about Photoshop. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reflect an object. First, I'm going to bring in my object. I'm going to go and open up a file called Speaker, and I'm going to select all of it, and then I'm going to copy it, and I can close that and bring it back to my document and paste it in. I'm going to move it up a little bit. And just so I have a better sense for what's going on, I'm going to go to my background layer and using the paint bucket tool, I'll paint it black. Good. Now I'm going to go back to my speaker layer and using the magic wand, select the white part and delete it. So now I have just my object against a black background. Now to make the reflection, I'm going to need to have another version of this image. So I'm going to duplicate this layer and then I want to invert it. So I'm going to go to the bottom and go to Free Transform. And over here for the height, I'm just going to put a negative sign in front of the height, uh, which is going to flip it. And if I use Shift, then I can drag the image down. And I can see that it is a mirror image of the original object. Hit Enter to get out of Transform. And now I'm going to use the rectangular marquee and get this to actually look like it is a reflection from that speaker. Um, I'm going to do this by selecting one half of it and going into Edit, Transform, and Distort. And then I'm just going to grab it here on the side and pull it up until it matches up with the speaker. Hit Enter. Uh, Control D deselects it. And I want to do the exact same thing to the other side of this object. So I'll select it, go to Edit, Transform, and Distort and grab it on the side and pull it up until it matches and hit enter and control D to deselect and it looks like there's still a little bit of space there so I'm going to use the nudge feature and uh, hold control and arrow up to bring the objects closer together. Um, now we still need to get the reflected image to look like a reflection and not just the image flipped upside down and distorted. So I'm going to enter quick mask mode and tap Q. Uh, and using the rectangular marquee, I'm going to select the area that covers the bottom half of the image. And then I'm going to go to gradient and make sure that black is my foreground and white is my background. And make sure that the gradient is going from foreground to background. Click OK. And the opacity should be 100. And I'm going to create a gradient using Shift. And now I've just created a mask for that bottom layer. Um, now when I leave Quick Mask Mode by tapping Q again, it's going to select the top half. But I want the bottom half. And so I'm going to go to Select and Inverse. And even though it looks like only a little bit of the box has been selected, it's actually been selected the whole half just as a gradient so that when I hit delete, it will delete um, as a gradient. Um, and I'm going to bring down the opacity to maybe 60-ish. And now you have a reflected speaker.